Welcome back, everyone. We're, wa we're launching a new panel for you tonight to talk about tech toys and issues, of course, as we head into the holiday shopping season. We begin tonight talking about the smartphones. Joining us, we have Louis Lee. He's the news director at WPLZ Radio. Also, Stephen Bird is joining us. He's with Best Buy's Geek Squad. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Glad to do it. Really appreciate it. And they brought some toys, too. <laughs> you know, guys, we've got a new iPhone for the holiday and plenty of other competitors launching to challenge that. So let's start with the iPhone 4S. When the 4S came out, the expert said, you know what, there's really not going to be that much new with this phone, but the public really seems to be eating it up. Why do you think that is? We'll, well start that's with why you, they've Lewis. got the 4S. I mean, every time they change the body style or the yeah. structure of the phone, they go up a number. But when they just improve on a body structure, they, they just add the S. And this is an improvement. It's got a much better camera, it's got a much better antenna system, and it's got Siri, which is the voice activated helper. Yeah, and Stephen, let me ask you about that. A lot of people are talking about Siri. I think that's one of the aspects people really like about the phone. Is that what you've heard? It is. I think that uh, Siri makes the phone a little bit more uh, user friendly while driving and uh, makes it just a little bit easier overall to use. And that seems like, I think, one of the keys that obviously a lot of states are cracking down on the talking and the texting, especially when they're driving. Have they come up with any kind of legislation for the Siri? Or is that why they did it? Do you know? I think you can actually use it over Bluetooth or over any sort of uh, any sort of phone or any sort of uh, Bluetooth in the car. So it actually will read your text messages to you, and you can actually talk back to text back. So. I think it bypasses the legislation a little bit there. There you go. That's perfect. Your thoughts, Lewis? Well, yeah. That's the whole thing about Siri is that you can talk to your phone, not just through it. Exactly. I like it. All right. Coming up now, we also have reports out today saying that prices are coming down on all of the smartphones, and the consumers they're responding to that discount. In fact, one report says people come to the stores to send about 200 bucks in their pocket, but they often find a cheaper brand to fit their needs. So. The question is, is there really much of a difference between the top of the line and then the discount phones? Lewis, we'll start with you and then talk to Stephen. Well, a lot of times the difference is in the durability and the reliability on the phone. For example, uh, you know, Pantech now has this breakout, which is really marketed toward the youth market. And, uh, you know, for a young person, this is a, a great phone. Uh, and it's $99 with a plan, wow. you know. And then, uh, of course, the other uh, niche market is uh, for ladies. Uh, the HTC Rhyme is great for ladies. Uh, it's a smaller phone. It's got um, a really bright screen, and it's slender. And it's got this cute little thing. Uh, <laughs> women often say that uh, if their phone is in their purse, they can't hear it, yes. even if it's uh, on ringer. And so this hangs outside the purse and will flash oh, when a call's cool. coming in. That's a smart idea. Stephen, have you had a lot of customers respond to things like that? I think that the uh, falling price of the smartphone just kind of brings it back into where younger people are getting smartphones now. I think everyone actually has a smartphone. <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that the the average tech person would go for one of the ninety nine dollar phones. They're looking for a little bit more power, but they're definitely there for the for the younger market. Yeah, and and for the power, you know, you've got the Droid Bionic, which just came out. Mm -hmm. It is a tough phone. Um, it's uh, probably one of the uh, sturdier phones. It's got eight megapixel camera. On the back, it's got the front-facing camera, just like all the best phones. It uh, runs the Android operating system. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, but you're going to have to pay for it because yes. this kind of durability costs. This is $300 with a plan. Yeah. And then, Versus of course, the, 99. the Droid uh, yeah. Razor. Um, Razor came out with this phone yes. way back in the day, and it was state-of-the-art. It was the thinnest phone made at the time. They've done it again. This is the new Droid Razor, which just came out Friday. And it is extremely slender, lightweight. It's got a huge screen yep. that's really easy to see. So that, I like this one. That segues perfectly into a segment we're launching called Big Deal or No Deal. So you would say that's a big deal, the Razor. Stephen, what do you think? Big Deal or No Deal? I think Motorola's lost its touch a little bit. Um, really? However, I do think that they have a, a chance to come back in the market with that phone. I think it actually will compete with the iPhone. All right, perfect way to end it. Thank you again so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. And now I think we're going to head on over to John. John.